Yohanan chapter 12. Accordingly, Yahushua, six days before the Pesach, came to Beth Aniah where Eleazar was, who had died, whom he raised from the dead. So they made him a supper there, and Martha served, while Eleazar was one of those who sat at the table with him. Then Miriam took a pound of costly perfume of nard, anointed the feet of Yahushua, and wiped his feet with her hair, and the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. And one of his taught ones, Yehuda, from Kerioth, son of Shimon, who was about to deliver him up, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? And he said this, not because he was concerned about the poor, but because he was a thief and had the bag. He used to take what was put in it. Yahushua then said, Let her alone. She has kept this for the day of my burial. For the poor you have with you always. But me, you do not have always. Then a great crowd of the Yahudim learned that he was there, and they came not on account of Yahushua only, but also to see Eleazar, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests resolved to kill Eleazar as well. Because on account of him, many of the Yahudim went away and believed in Yahushua. On the next day, a great crowd who had come to this festival, when they heard that Yahushua was coming to Yahushalayim, took the branches of palm trees and went out to meet him and were crying out, Hoshiana, blessed is he who is coming in the name of Yah, the sovereign of Israel. And Yahushua, having found a young donkey, sat on it, as it has been written. Do not fear, daughter of Zion. See, your sovereign is coming, sitting on the coat of a donkey. At first, his taught ones did not understand this. But when Yahushua was esteemed, then they remembered that this was written about him and that they had done this to him. Therefore, the crowd who were with him, when he called Eleazar out of his tomb and raised him from the dead, were bearing witness. On account of this, the crowd also met him because they heard that he had done this sign. The Pharisees then said among themselves, You see how you are getting nowhere at all? Look, the world has gone after him. And there were certain Greeks among those coming up to worship at the festival. These then came to Philip, who was from Beth Zeta of Galileo, and were asking him, saying, Master, we wish to see Yahushua. Philip came and told Andre, and in turn Andre and Philip told Yahushua. Yahushua answered them, saying, the hour has come for the son of Adam to be esteemed. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. He who loves his life shall lose it. And he who hates his life in this world shall preserve it for everlasting life. If anyone serves me, let him follow me. And where I am, there my servant also shall be. If anyone serves me, the father shall value him. Now I myself am troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but for this reason I came to this hour. Father, esteem your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have both esteemed it and shall esteem it again. So the crowd who stood by and heard it were saying there had been thunder. Others said, a messenger has spoken to him. Yahushua answered and said, this voice did not come because of me, but for your sake. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world shall be cast out. And I, if I am lifted up from the earth, shall draw all men unto myself. This he said, signifying by what death he was about to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard out of the Torah that the Messiah remains forever. And how do you say the son of Adam has to be lifted up? Who is the son of Adam? Yahushua therefore said to them, Yet a little while the light is with you. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. And he who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you become sons of light. These words Yahushua spoke and went off and was hidden from them. But though he had done so many signs before them, they did not believe in him, that the word of Yeshayahu the prophet might be filled which he spoke. Yah, who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of Yah had been revealed? Because of this, they were unable to believe. Because again, Yeshayahu said, He has blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, so that they should not see with their eyes and understand with their heart, and turn, and I shall heal them. Yeshayahu said this when he saw his esteem and spoke of him, 
Still, even among the rulers, many did believe in him, but because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the congregation, for they loved the praise of men more than the praise of Yah. Then Yahushua cried out and said, He who believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And he who sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as a light into the world, so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. And if anyone hears my words but does not watch over them, I do not judge him, for I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and does not receive my words has one who judges him. The word that I have spoken shall judge him in the last day. Because I spoke not from myself, but the Father who sent me has given me a command, what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his command is everlasting life. Therefore, whatever I speak, as the Father has said to me, so I speak.